STX Soul's innovation at the peak of his power is facing off against the best pro gamer in any esport of all time, Flash, aka the ultimate weapon, aka God. And whenever people are nicknamed God, they rarely deserve it. But you know what? Flash did. This guy was absolutely legendary. Blow your doors off. Insidious how well this guy could play Brood War and Macro. It was crazy how hard Flash was to rattle. It's insane how consistent Flash was on LAN. This guy would melt your face with the power of his macro and his ability to scout and read his opponent and plan for series. If Flash was a player in Madden, he would have all of his attributes at fucking 99. Even Cheese would be 90 plus. This is a guy that essentially can do every build insidiously well and almost will melt your boots if you're watching him and wearing a pair of boots. You might leave a like rating on the video and then at the end go to get up, you know, and like go make yourself a snack and you're like, why can't I move? And you notice that the shoes that you're wearing have been fused to the ground because Flash is so fucking electric. He fused you into the ground. I mean, this guy's a legend. To say that he's a god, look at that. She didn't even hide her face because she's proud of Flash. Usually, anytime they put the Korean girl on camera, they hide their face. She knows. Like, there's nothing wrong with liking Flash. The guy's a legend. The guy's a god. And he's facing off against my favorite Terran player of all time in StarCraft 2 Innovation, the grinding, methodical macro Terran. In last game, we saw Innovation try to catch Flash off guard. You never ever wanted to play Flash in a macro game, even if you were a macro player yourself. So it was sort of this funny little dichotomy of like the two hardest macro players. One of them might try to cheese because they know that the other dude, his biggest strength is macro and he's going to try to get up into a macro game. And as far as innovation goes, we almost saw him go for macro builds exclusively. And this was a guy who, for seven straight years, did the same build versus Zerg every game. 3cc with quick Hellion. 6 Hellion, standard macro opener. And whenever you consider Innovation's career, that's one thing that he definitively gets credit for. And one thing that, if you look at the history of the game, whenever that build became popular, that was definitively Inno's build. He was the one who not only pioneered it, but perfected it and showed that if you're better than your Zerg opponent, this is the sort of build order that you should go for. This is a strategy that you will find useful and a strategy that if you're really thinking, okay, well, this guy can't keep up with me in the late game, those are the sort of build orders that you want to go for. As we see another attempted aggression here from Innovation, going for a bit of a Reaper cheese here. Now if you have followed StarCraft II history, this looks a lot like the Three Racks Reaper. This is sort of more of like a cutthroat TVT, I'm going to come in at a weird time, Two Racks Reaper, where you show the one Reaper, fake like it's a normal Reaper expands, and then with the second Racks, you pull up a couple more Reapers and then fly in at this weird time where they're only going to have three Marines and even if they're doing a safe macro opener, their bunker won't be done, their factory won't be done, and they'll be probably making an add-on. So Innovation going for a cutesy little sniper build there, knowing what Flash likes to do, saw how fast the third CC was last game, and really understood the sort of play that Flash was going for. He understood that Flash wants to get into that quick third and show off his multitask and macro more than anything. And how does Innovation know that? Well, because Flash is God and everybody knows how infallible he is in a macro game. But also, that's how Innovation himself plays. Oh, if you are facing what is essentially a personality and stylistic mirror match, you know, like, if you just think about, what do I hate? How, how do I hate to lose in StarCraft 2? That's a great fucking example. Innovation sitting there, well, how do I lose TVT? Uh, some idiot makes, like, four Reapers and runs in when I have three Marines. My bunker 70% done. I'm making an add-on in Factory. There you go. He hit Flash with that. Like, how do I lose TVT whenever I get into macro games and I have an 85% win rate versus the top Koreans? Oh, some guy proxies two barracks and bunker rushes me. So Innovation really understood the power of Flash, and even though Innovation was almost a guy who would never cheese, in this way he really understood series planning and the fact that 
in many ways you're playing your opponent in the map more so than just trying to do your build order that you've practiced exceptionally over and over and over. So the rubber match of this round of 16 will be coming up.